At 839, Ben Stiller's 2001 comedy Zoolander became a cult classic. It introduced us all to the really, really ridiculously good-looking model, Derek Zoolander. What would you say your trademark is, if you have one? Well, I guess the look I'm best known for is blue steel. What's that look like? It's impressive. And then there's Ferrari and the Tigra. The Tigra's a lot softer. It's a little bit uh, more of a catalog look. I use it for footwear sometimes. Can I see that? Fifteen years later, Derek's back in Zoolander 2, but can his famous looks still stop flying objects? Hey, flash me that beautiful look. Give me that incredible magnum. No. Think fast. Magnum. Wait. No. Magnum. Now! Oh! Come on! You got this, but you gotta focus! Oh! Come on! Hansel, stop! You got this! Oh! Yeah! Maybe we could try a washcloth. Tequila! Hansel, no! Oh! No! It's not working! Does it make sense to you when I say sometimes I feel guilty <laughs> that I'm laughing? No, 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 no. You understand that? Yeah. No, no, of course. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you, Matt. Did you slip right back into this character after 15 years, or was it a little more difficult than that? Uh, it took a little bit of time just because it had been a while. But once we started doing it, it started to feel more normal. And then once I got working with Owen and we got back into that dynamic, it felt uh, pretty familiar. Now, I know you wouldn't have brought Derek back to the big screen unless he had in evolved considerably. Yes. Well, it was also hard just getting Derek to agree to do the movie. He's How very, difficult was he's that? He's just difficult. Yeah. You know, he, he thought the first one didn't really reflect well on him. He thought it was a documentary. Um, and then trying to make a deal with him on this one was really, you know, he's a model who thinks he's an actor. Hey, you, you asked a lot of famous people to do cameos yes. in the movie. And I, well, we'll get to that. Okay. I just learned something three minutes ago. Yeah. You asked Jenna's mom, Barbara Bush, the former first lady. No, Laura, Laura. Oh, you asked her mom, Laura. I thought yeah. it was her grandma. No, Laura. Okay, you asked yeah. her mom, Laura, to yes. be in the movie. Yes, and she was so smart. To, to politely say no. <laughs> what did you have in mind for her? Um, there is a group of people that Hansel Owens' character is having a relationship with. A group of people. Um, and uh, I asked her to be, um, I was going to ask her to be a member of that group. Actually, I just asked her if she'd be interested. She, she politely declined, and then I was so glad I didn't have to ask her to be a part of this group of people that Hansel's having the relationship with. Group is the key word yes, there, isn't it? That's so the PG-13 version. Laura Bush to be a part <laughs> of an orgy scene in Zoolander 2. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> what were you, what were you come you with the hard-hitting questions, what Matt Lauer. What were you thinking? Uh, I was, I don't know, when I, at, it, when the reality of when it came out of my mouth, I realized I was insane. So. Uh, you, you did, you kindly asked me to be in the movie. Do yes. you know what surprised me? Yeah. That you came yourself. To oh. direct, I thought you'd send an intern, or I really did to work with you. No, I, on, I didn't. Be, I didn't believe that you would actually come here yeah. for a tiny cameo and, on my and do the actual directing. And you were nice enough to do it twice because we had to come back. What happened there? Did we, I mess it up the no, first time? No, you were wonderful. We just had a line that changed, and I wanted to use you for that opening sequence, where and you sort of like morph into Derek. It's a very exciting shot in the movie where you kind of become, you know, it's one good-looking guy just turns <laughs> yeah, into right. another incredibly good-looking guy. Is is it re a relief to you? tonight that this premieres here and then you can kind of say you're off on your own? Yeah, I mean, I think once it's out in the world, you know, once it comes out, you, then, you, then you know it's done because you're working on it until the very end. And even when we were showing it, we had our first screenings in Australia last week, we were still dropping shots in because you just, you know, you just keep on going until they pull it out of your hands. So 15 years from now, will you be back with Zoolander 3? Yes, with a walker, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's great to see you, Ben. It was a fun process, and congratulations. Right, thanks, man. Thanks for bringing Derek back. And Zoolander 2 opens on Friday, and tomorrow we're going to talk to Ben's co-star, Penelope Cruz. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.